Hey folks, I'm Serving Glory, and welcome back to Valorant Victory. Continuing the uh, British Sector campaign, and I think next in terms of chronological order, so if we fought Pegasus Bridge and the uh, Merville Battery, I think Rendezvous at Le Hamel is next. Um, next item on the agenda. Yep, so 47th Royal Marine Commando, uh, they they weren't part of the initial assault. Um, they hit the beach about 8am and they lost something, almost a third of their strength on the run into the beach. Uh, so the scenario we have here, um, they're heading for a rendezvous in the church in Le Hamel uh, before they go into their main objective, but they've got to clear out a German company before they can do that. So, uh, victory conditions, attacker must eliminate or pin all enemy units. So we'll see how we go on with that. The Germans only have two machine guns, which is nice. A uh, couple of commanders, okay. Not a full strength company, obviously. We've got three brain, ten squads, two leaders, okay. Let's see how we get on. I think this is the first scenario where we actually don't start hidden by trees, so yeah, three of our units could actually fire if we wanted. Um, let's check out what we have. Okay. Right, so I'm not going to make any changes to the setup in the command phase. And I don't think, now that I've got the opportunity, I'm not going to fire at all. So they're in a prepared position, they're, in a, they're both in buildings. Um, if this platoon could see them, I might fire because it would be at minus two and plus two, so it would be a straight die roll, but I want to get closer. Um, I think we actually want to get into hand to hand well as we can. I've just noticed washing hanging up there. That's lovely. Don't know if that's been in any of the previous maps. Don't think so. Anyway, enough chat about washing. Let's uh, go to the move phase. You've got a range of six. Six. You've got eight. You've got six. Right, so first turn at least we're going to assault move. Assault move seems to, it gives you a, a, a modifier to the die roll, uh, so you get a plus uh, on the die roll as you do if you're in cover and I think it's meant to simulate that you're actually using cover uh, as you move so it reduces your movement rate by half and it also it seems to result in less in the way of opportunity fire. So I don't know if it's meant to also sort of simulate um, troops that are moving behind cover, so as well as being harder to hit, they're harder to spot. Uh, anyway, over here you're going to assault move as well. Now you could be seen in there. Yeah. So we're not going to move into the open, we'll go into the f forest. It means we take an extra turn before they're enough position to fire, but that's okay. These guys here, I don't think you can be seen back there, but we'll assault move you anyway, it makes no difference. You've only got four movement points, uh, halved to two anyway. And this section here, this squad, we're just going to move over. Put it in here. Could fit. But I think I want it to back up this platoon over here. It just means that they're going to be sat in the open. And the assault move modifier doesn't affect 
um, normal fire, like defensive fire. Reduction in movement points applied. When an infantry uses assault movement, it gains a plus one cover modifier. But, as I said, I don't think that applies in the defensive fire phase. So, we'll use it anyway. And we'll set you there. And then we'll move on. Okay, so no modifiers. Ooh. Well, they did take casualties. I thought that we were going to get lucky there. One, two, three, four, five. All oh, right, okay. So they could only fire with the MG thirty-seven. So we're now in the advance phase. So we'll just get you into cover. I'm glad they weren't pinned. We'll bring these squads into this building, and we'll move Doyle's platoon up to the forest. Alright, so you get plus three for being in the building. Here they've got a minus one because the leader is not quite enough. Alright, that's fine. I wasn't too bothered about where that platoon was. The plan for I'm going to move up into these buildings here, or maybe I think we'll move in there. And then assault them eventually. But for defensive fire, these guys can't see anything. These guys don't have a leader. So I think we'll just go for the guys in the trench here. Since it's only a plus two. Not bad roll. Uh, it looks like it's a half section, half squad. It's reduced. These guys. Probably can't see. No, right. Okay, I like turn. And I think we're just going to do the same again. I'm going to leave the brain there. Yeah, I'm just going to leave the things as they are. You uh, fire at these guys again. Oh, another good roll. Uh, and that's us. In the movement phase, um, I'm not going to bother with assault move because I'm just going to put these guys here. Then there. Um, yeah, that's fine. They're staying where they are. And these guys here. There's no point moving them forward. They don't get to fire until uh, the German phase, and we get defensive fire. So we can leave them there, and we'll move them in in the assault phase. Yeah. So that's a half squad lost, I think, and that's a damn good roll for them. Oh, three good rolls. So we've lost two half squads. Ouch. Uh, allied advance and assault. Smithy, bring your platoon in here. You come up to there, and Doyle, you move your men in there. At least now they'll spread the fire a bit. So, I think I'll 
Oh, bloody hell. 12, 16 firepower points. I would like to at least pin some of them before we go in and engage in hand to hand. We've got 24. So it would be at 1 to 1. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead with the defensive fire. You could shoot at him again, but we'll have you try and wipe out this squad. Not this time. And Doyle, you can now start shooting at Schmidt. Oh. So there's a, looks like a brick wall in there. I guess there's maybe a wall along the hex side there, as well as the cover from the house. Strange. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought the wall would make any difference if you're shooting into them. Well, never mind. Um, I mean, if they're like the upper floors shooting over the wall, then the wall is irrelevant. And a good roll, though. I lost a half squad. Okay. Wondered if they might move, but they're not. Okay, command fees. I want to get the half squad in there and give them the brain. But we can't do that until next turn, turn four. Um, the full squad there has the brain. I was wondering whether I want to merge those two half squads, but I think I'll keep them as they are just now. We might send a half squad out to draw fire at some point. And in there, we'll just leave it as it is again. So, onto the fire phase. Smithy, you just unload into them. Okay. There's something. Target these guys again. That's good. And then Doyle. Shoot over the wall into them. And that's a good roll as well. So. I'd rather the MG squad was pinned, but never mind. Right. Move phase, I do nothing. Interesting, I thought they'd have shot at Smithy's platoon again. Okay. Now the question. I think what I'm going to do Yeah, I need to leave Smithy with the Brain squad so that he can transfer it over there. So for now... So that would be 10 firepower points anyway. Do I want to put them in here right now? It makes no difference. Range doesn't matter. I was thinking about moving them in there, but no, we'll move those two squads in here. And we move you in there. Next turn, we transfer the brain to the 343 squad and then move Smithy and the other squad in here. All being equal. Uh, you're okay as you are, and you're okay as you are. And the plan is just going to have to be a rush across open ground to get into hand to hand with these guys. Oh no!
Yeah, I don't like the fact that the Germans are getting a decent roll now and again. Right, defensive fire. Um, 12 firepower is good. Decent roll, but no leader means that the plus 3 negates any damage. 16. And again, 12 points. Poor. Well, view shoot at these guys. Double one would be lovely. Three and one's not too bad. Um, I was hoping even just to get a pin result in there. And you keep targeting them. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't mind when I get decent rolls. So they're slightly weakened. So they're in 12 points, we're in 12 there. We're not going to get a 2 to 1 advantage. 8, 10, and they've got 11. And again, 18, 20. If I move up a full squad from there, we could get a 2 to 1 advantage potentially here. Depending how things go. But anyway, I need a leader in here to merge those guys. So that's not happening. In here, as I said, uh, no, I want to transfer the brain. You're staying as you are. We can't do anything there because there's no leader. Right. Fire phase. Let's have you unload everything you've got in there. Nope. And then in here. This is turn four. I... I'm not going to assault them this turn. We're going to leave it until turn five. We don't have to take any objective hexes, it's just pin or eliminate the units. So, yeah, you unload with everything as well. Damn. Yeah, okay. So potentially, we could manage a two to one advantage there with a wee bit of assistance. But here, 40, 12, 12, no. Nope. Well, 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20. No, I don't think we, we can't do it. We can get 12 points there. And then if we put the brain back into the full squad, that would be another nine, which is 21. And then one from Smithy's 22. So we can't get two to one odds on them as they are. So we're just going to try and reduce them if we can. And Doyle as well. Damn it. Okay, no movement. Uh, defensive fire. These guys are in the building. Oh no! That's not fair. Lost a half squad. Which is not huge in the grand scheme of things, but the annoying thing is that I can't now merge up those two half squads because I can't fit everybody into that uh, hex. So if I leave them behind as I had planned can get Smithy in there. 
Uh, nothing to do there or there. Let's just move on to the German turn. I'm just thinking about the, these guys are going to assault move out adjacent to this hex. They've got three movement points because they've got a leader. That was good. Uh, but we'll use these guys to try and draw fire from them to start with. Alright, let's see if we can't get a wee bit of luck. Not there, but that's alright. I'd much rather get it from Smithy. Nope. Okay. And we're just going to concentrate on Le Mans platoon again. Partly because um, there's a plus one additional bonus here, but also because this is still slightly stronger than that one, I think. And we've got a stronger unit of our own over there. Pinned. Well, let's our defensive fire, so we're not going to be assaulting. I don't think the Germans are either. Okay, so now we just need to go with what we have. Firing in here. Oh, fantastic. What did you do? So they would have squad six now. So that's 10 points, 12, yeah, we get a 2 to 1 odds, which we needed. So you're staying as you are, well, hang on, no, I can shoot again, because these guys don't need to move. So, do more damage. No, never mind. You're going to move. I want to shoot. Plus three in the die roll. No, one, nine firepower I was thinking about. We're not going to bother. So, what we do instead, send this half squad. No, we need to go in this direction. Can you go? One, two, three. We probably could end up drawing fire from having to draw fire from both. What? Oh, that. Where's my. Where's the assault move modifier? It would only have been one. It would still have. The squad would still have been destroyed, but. Why don't I have a plus one? Did I misclick? I thought. I didn't think I had. Anyway, this half squad, click, assault move. What I found is that they will fire if you assault move adjacent to them, regardless. But we're just going to have to chance it because I want, I, don't, I need them to fire and not on this bunch. So there we go. No. Right. I just make sure you don't walk into that fire. What? That's. Cheating. I guess they hadn't all fired. Right. You march up to there. Got away with it. Uh, move on. And now it's all or nothing. And we go. Oh, terrible roll. Ah, 
everything had gone so well against this crew until that very point. Doyle, you've got to save us now by wiping these men out. And another bad roll. That's us, lost the scenario then. Uh, they had to get in there and then these guys had to be suppressed by defensive fire in the next turn. I don't see us being able to suppress them now. They're going to get wiped out. They'll probably be wiped out as well. Well, they're not wiped out yet. Okay. We shoot with everything we have. Double one. Where was that when I was doing the assault? And you can't see them, so you'll just shoot them for the hell of it, out of sheer frustration. You shoot them. Double one again. No. Doyle, what do you actually have left? Just yourself. Take them out of your stain. Okay. So with that, it uh, should be a defeat. Yes, we lost three quarters of our forces. Um, it's like with any of these type of games, everything is so dependent on the random die rolls. Dice rolls. Uh, I think things went reasonably well, right up until the assault phase in turn five. And then two poor rolls, uh, and we lose so many troops. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, that's the scenario. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please leave me a comment, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I hope to see you back for the next one. Cheers.